So hello and welcome to a quick little amateur tour around a 2021 Geno NC37. Just arrived straight from the factory in Les Herbier. Sliding rear seat here. This is in the forward position. It will slide back to make the cockpit a bit larger. As you can see, great opening of the doors there. So you have a real mix between the inside saloon and the uh, cockpit here at the back with the teak table. Obvious wine storage. Waco fridge freezer unit in there. You know, hoven next to it. Twin gas burners and obviously a sink with hot and cold water next to it. Saloon area, table will fold out full so you can get a good six people sitting around the table when you want to eat or you can fold it up if you're just socialising so you've got a couple of exposed drink holders and a bit more room to uh, circulate in and out. starboard side door then out onto the walkway we'll see that again as we walk out the, walk up the walkway later famous folding co-pilot bench on the geno i uh, was in the seating area then or it'll fold back as i'm doing here single-handed all right that raises up so you can sit two passengers facing forwards quick view of the helm here fold up seat so you can either stand up when you're driving if you want to or you can fold it down uh, for more comfy seating on longer cruises. Quick view of the dashboard there, joystick controls, trim tabs, all the EVC stuff for the Volvo, cup holders in front of the passenger seats. Famous Wabasto electric opening sunroof. Easy operation, just press the button and it will glide its way open, giving you a light and area feel inside the saloon and a matter of moments to close it should you need to stand up on the step for the driver and you can see out over the bow of your boat. So walking down below, three steps down, fairly large area in the centre, starboard side we've got the distribution panel for the electrics and the main the battery main switches, underneath that a second fridge, opening on the right, icebox inside it, and then either a storeroom or a third cabin. We haven't got the mattress in it, so it can be used for storing of cushions and bags and things like that. Separate shower, so the shower is on the starboard side. Enclosed shower with a hand basin. Keeping the toilet completely separate on the port side. This is the second bedroom. Uh, this can either be a, either be a double um, or twins. The centerpiece is just removed out room to get changed inside the cabin this is into the toilet full electric toilet uh, a fresh water flush and obviously a hand basin in there as well going here into the master cabin with a, obviously an island bed curtains are closed at the moment a little storage locker there under the black markings and then a hanging locker there curtains open now in the front cabin so you can see reading lights Mirror, very light and airy down there. Overhead lockers down both sides. Lift up underneath and a big locker for your holders and bags once you've unpacked into the wardrobe. So a quick walk around the outside now. Obviously teat decking all the way around the cockpit. Up the starboard side, side entry door. Great for getting on and off from the pontoon. Very wide starboard walkway access straight into the helm and as you can see the mid cleat is directly opposite that so very easy for mooring a few steps up to the front flat all the way there's the uh, anchor windlass obviously anchor locker beneath it looking back option to put cushions on there and there's a view of your nc37 